Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel on a beautiful day here in Canada. Hope everybody's doing groovy. I know I'm doing pretty groovy. So this is I guess now our new norm, these face masks. So what I thought I'd do today is I'd do a nail design that reflects this really cool face mask and I'm going to do my uh, non-dominant hand. So I hope you'll all come along with me on my journey and see how these turn out. So let me just go get ready and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to show you the materials that I will be working with. So the first thing will be the yellow gel and the green gel and the blue gel, followed by the pink gel for which I didn't have in one of those little bowls. So I just used that plus some black, of course, and some holographic powder. So I'm, I'm going to start with painting my pinky finger with the yellow. And I'm going to have to do it in a couple of layers. So I'm only going to show you guys the first layer and then cure it naturally. And then I will do the other layers off camera so you don't have to watch me do two or three layers all on camera when the outcome is still the same thing. So I'm just doing my first coat right now. I'm trying to get it on as evenly as possible. Sometimes that's a little bit of a trick, but I'm using the holo holographic powder on top of it. So even if you have a little couple of imperfections, it's not really going to matter unless it's really huge and then you'll be able to see it. But a couple of little uh, flaws here and there isn't really going to hurt the design. So then once you get that in there, then I just stick it in and wait the 30 seconds to a minute and then I pull it out. And then once it's all cured all, that's when I'm going to brand the holographic powder on top of the yellow. Now, I just love this holographic powder because what I discovered, and I'm sure many of you have as well, is that depending on the base coat, the color of the base coat, the holographic powder looks different of, on every nail. So I think that's really cool considering, you know, it is actually the hollow powder. I think it's a really cool effect and it looks really amazing, especially when you've got like a whole design. So that's why I'm, I'm trying it this way. I only did one practice nail, so I'm not really sure how the whole design is going to turn out, but I think it's going to be good. So that's that nail's done, and we can carry on to the next one. Now the next one is my ring finger. So the ring finger is going to have the accent nail on it, and I'm just going to paint that one black for now because it's regular nail polish. So I'm going to work on the other fingers, and then once I come back to it, the black should be fully dried by then, and then we can work with that nail at that time. So that's why I'm just carefully putting on the black. Try not to make too many mistakes. You can pick it up with a little acetone, not a big problem. There. And then once that's done, and I'll move on to the middle finger. And the middle finger is going to be blue. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the pinky finger. Is I will show you the first coat of the application of the blue. And then cure it. And then off camera, if I have to do any other layers, I would do those off camera so you don't have to watch me do all the layers. Because it's the same outcome either way, of course. But this blue is really pigmented, actually. So it may only take me one or two coats, whereas the some of the other colors took me like two and three coats, which is not a really big deal. That's why I love this gel polish, because you can slap it down, cure it it holds everything in place and it's fantastic i just love it so if you have any mistakes you can always fix them before you even cure it and nobody's any of the wiser so that's why i love the gel paints and i'm sure you all find the same thing so once uh, that's all finished 
pop it into the lamp and carry on. So now that the, all, the, all the layers have finished, once again, we're going to brand the holographic powder over top of the blue. So it still has that little bit of a sticky, sticky layer over top. So I didn't, I didn't wipe it. I just let it, let the sticky layer stay. And then I just brand the holographic powder over top of it. And once again, you get that a different effect because of the blue base coat, which I think is super cool. And I just love sparkles and shines and shimmers of any sort. I'm probably just still a little kid. <laughs> Alrighty. And now that we've done the blue, now can carry on with the, I want to say green, because I just picked up the green, but I know it's not the green. It's the pink. And this pink one is still gel, but it doesn't require a light. So I don't need to cure this pink. I'm just going to put it on and then carry on to the thumb and then just like the black, the pink should be finished or and maybe I'm not even going to do that. Maybe I'll just wait. Yeah, I'll just wait until it dries and then we'll carry on with the holographic powder. So there we go. Perfect. Holographic powder is being applied with that little bit of a sticky layer before it fully dried. And I don't, I think the pink has to be my favorite base coat for applying the holographic powder. I just love how the pink turned out. It is so pretty. I guess it's got that shimmer and shine uh, as well to it, plus all the all the different prism colors. I just I just love it. It's like kind of like a, a rainbow for your eyes. And then clearly, last but not least, which is the green. And that's going to go on the thumb. And like the others, I'll just show you the very first application coat, cure it, and then come back to brandish the holographic powder over top of it. Now, I'm not a very green kind of gal. I don't really like greens very often, <coughs> or at all, excuse me. But this green is really pretty. I do like how this green looks. It's not like, like the dark, deep green, and it's not like a neon green. It's kind of like that in-between, kind of like a, maybe like a grass green. So that's why I really like this color. So I'm just going to pop that one into the lamp again. And this color did require an extra layer, so I put an extra layer on it before I began brandishing the holographic powder. And the holographic powder looks really cool over top of the green as well. It's got that same shimmer and shine and the prism colors hitting the different lights and stuff like that. It's super, super pretty. And uh, I don't know if you all watched any of the other videos that I've had, but I normally like to wear uh, longer coffin nails. But recently I decided I'd like to try a little bit of a shorter nails just so that I could function a little bit better and just to see if I like them. And I, I'm actually, it's, it's not too bad. I actually sculpted these nails out of acrylic myself. So I really quite like them. I hope you guys like them too. So now we're going to start with the black nail. And like I said, um, when I first put it on, the black was just regular nail polish. So I have to use black gel in order for me to do that. And in order for me to get the effect with that mask, I need a scale of some sort, which is what you can see there is a sticker scale for lack of a better word. I don't know what they call it. So I'm going to put that over top of my nail to get that scale effect. And I have to put black gel over top of the black polish so I can achieve that sticky layer for the effect I'm hoping for. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just putting some black gel polish over top of the black nail 
so that I get this sticky layer. Cure that for not the full minute like I normally do, but about 30 seconds just to hold it in there and get that sticky layer as well. And then without having to pull the sticky thing off, I can go right into the branding. But I need to wait that time in order for me to get that 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 effect first. And I gotta make sure that I'm I try to get as much coverage as possible because I'm doing black on black it's really really hard to see and you know I'm getting old and blind so <laughs> that's a bit of a more of a challenge but nonetheless I did it so once it's out of the lamp grab the holographic powder and I just start rubbing that into place trying to get inside the smallest little crevices now because I used the this I guess the sticker a couple of times it's now starting to lose its stickiness so I was trying to work really fast so that it didn't frustrate me and slide off my finger or mess up the design after I got the holographic powder on then I'd have to start all over again and that would just vex me and I don't like to be vexed especially by nails so there you go. See, it turned out excellent. You know, a couple little tweaks here and there, but not a big deal. Tweaks can always be fixed, especially when you've got a guide on your nails just like this, because you can go right over top of the ones that you already did, and it's not going to mess it up at all. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going, there's just a couple that I missed, and I'm going to try to grab those while the gel is still sticky and I apologize if you hear that music that would be the ice cream truck and I'm right by the window so yeah that's the ice cream truck my bad so carrying on and no I don't want an ice cream at all wink wink okay so then I'm gonna do the bottom part of the nail because unfortunately the sticker wasn't long enough for the entire nail so I'm just doing the same thing I did and I'm brandishing that to hollow in there so I can get it all covered for the whole nail and because you know it I did use this sticker before I didn't quite get the full coverage of all the scales on the first shot. So I, instead of sparing you guys having to watch me fumble and, and, and everything, I just decided to do that part again off camera and then carry on with the rest of the design. So there we go. Voila, how awesome is that? That's just how quick everything is. <laughs> okay, the next part is sharpie fun yay so what i'm just going to do is take my four colors of sharpie and start coloring in those little holographic scales on the nail so that it could match that mask that i showed you guys earlier now i don't didn't realize how how difficult this was going to be because i wasn't sure how i was going to get the holographic plus the colors onto the same nail to pop like it did but it actually didn't turn out so bad the the yellow was the only one that wasn't as bright as I would hope for but other than that it actually transferred really well the colors were really bright and it transferred really good and I didn't have any issues and I also left in a couple of areas of the silver because on the mask you can see that there is still a few silver spots so my apologize my apologies that's my notification and I'm a huge big bank theory so yeah I can't really turn that off <laughs> I apologize so there um you it's really hard to see that the camera doesn't pick up the awesomeness of all the colors and the metallic, but I think I, I did a pretty good job trying to, uh, trying to, to copycat it. I think it, it, it went really well. So then the next step is just the putting the top coat on and 
and the design is finished. Now this, these gel top coats are fantastic. I just love them. They come, they turn out so shiny and it holds in the design and it doesn't chip, it doesn't peel. And I just love the gel system. I just wish I wasn't financially challenged. Never, never, never mind. You know, it happens. You just got to work with what, what, what God gave you, I guess you could say. So I'm just putting my top coat on here. I will zap them in the little nuker there and the entire design has been completed. It's fairly quick, it's fairly easy and it turns out really beautiful. I hope you all enjoyed this. I, I hope you do decide to recreate it and if you do, please tag me in it. I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. And don't forget, stay groovy. Bye for now. Hi all, I just wanted you all to see the finished product in the sunlight. See, I think it looked fantastic. It looked exactly like my mask with all the holographics. Awesome, it's beautiful. Well, thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you next time.